Hello furniture refinishing friends, this is Shannon with Black Sheep House. In today's video, I'm taking this buffet that a designer has dropped off for me to paint for her client. And she wanted this color um, from Sherwin-Williams. And it's awesome because now I know I can use this Sherwin-Williams HGTV paint from Lowe's and I can get it that day in any color that the designer asked me for. And at this point, I'm working with a couple designers locally and they almost always ask for Sherwin-Williams. But I've had trouble with the Sherwin-Williams paints adhering to my furniture without priming so when I found this paint the HGTV line it's got a little bit more of like a chalky substance to it and it's made from um, a, acrylic instead of latex based it's acrylic based and I'm not trying to be like a paint scientist here or whatever but I've definitely used a lot of paints and this performs a lot like general finishes milk paint for me and it has better coverage so big win it's definitely general finishes i would say levels out a little bit smoother because it is like a a, a sheerer paint like a thinner paint but this stuff is so great guys like i am a huge fan now i discovered this paint on accident and i've just been raving about it ever since i got no sponsorships i'm not doing anything like that it's just a great paint and I think that'll save you guys a lot of um, time being able to just run out and get the color that you need, um, especially if you're trying to do certain looks that you've seen on like Instagram or from designers and things like that. So I'm just here to share what I'm learning <laughs> with you guys. So here it is up close. You can see like once I do the roll off method with the dry foam roller, it pulls away quite a bit of the paint. So it goes from being a one coat coverage to definitely having to do two coats. But I find the smoother finish is worth it for me. But you could definitely, if you if you don't mind brush strokes, you could get away with one coat on this um, particular paint. It's good stuff. So I'm just doing the um, brush on and then roll off method like you guys always see me do on the channel. This thing, <laughs> I was able to get this done in a pretty short amount of time. It did have a lot of legs, like a chair would, you know. But overall, pretty quick project. I work in sections. The top gave me a little bit of trouble because it was very big and the wind was blowing. Things were drying very quickly, so <laughs> I was trying to get it done quick. But ideally, I would do this all in one section going from all the way from one end to the other and that's what I try to do on my final coat but I didn't end up doing that here on the first coat I'm just trying to get it on I picked this um, paint up in the flat finish but I've been um, using it since this project and I'm preferring the satin finish because when I use the satin finish and do the clear coat over top of it 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 just goes, the clear coat goes on a little bit smoother and quicker. I know many of you guys have used my one step paint recipe that I shared recently, and I still stand by that paint recipe and love it. It's one part paint, one part primer, and one part clear coat. The only reason I can't use it when I'm working with these designers is because it changes the color just a little bit. It makes the paint a little bit lighter because the um, primer that I put in it is white. And so with the designers, they're kind of picky in particular. And so I just, I don't really mess with it as far as that goes. And that's why I have been using this paint for when I work with them. And then when I do my own flips, um, I will use my one step paint recipe because of course I would, why not? Because <laughs> I don't have to clear coat it at the end. It saves me so much time. So if you're just doing stuff for your own personal use, um, I would definitely recommend that one step paint recipe. But if you're in a high traffic area, you're gonna have to clear coat your piece anyway, or at least the top of your piece, like a dresser in a kid's room, you're gonna wanna clear coat the top of that, or maybe the feet. Um, you're gonna wanna clear coat a table or an entryway table, something like that. And if you're using the same sheen or a matte finish for your clear coat, you don't have to clear coat your whole piece. You can just clear coat those certain areas to add the protection that you need in those areas and it won't change the color or the sheen or anything like that when you're doing the piece. But anyway, so we go on here with the paintbrush and then we use the roll off method. The foam roller that I'm using is the Wiz. I'm buying like everything from Lowe's these days. Um, 
the Wiz Roller is only, I've only been able to find it on Amazon or at Lowe's. And it's the high density foam roller. I'm sure you guys all have it by now if you follow my channel. Because <laughs> it's like, I live and die by the foam roller. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I have used a sprayer. Me and my husband used to do this um, business together. So now I do it full time, but he used to do it full time as well with me. And we used a sprayer 100% of the time. Like that's all we used. And the sprayer is a pain. It's like so much effort. You waste so much paint. Um, but it, you know, it gets in the nooks and crannies. Yes. It gives a great finish, yes. Uh, we used a lot of Wise Owl One Hour Enamel with our sprayer. And I'm gonna do a video on a uh, sprayer method and stuff, but I have just found that I enjoy painting so much more this way with using a brush and a roller. It's much more relaxing to me. I don't like the sound of the sprayer and the air compressor. I don't like wearing a mask it so it's just for me to enjoy my job and enjoy what I do this method works so much better for me personally um I did sand the top because like I said the top was like drying so fast on me I don't know if my brush was getting my paint was getting dry I don't know what's happening but um I did give that a quick sand with some high grit sandpaper probably like a thousand grit and then I'm coming in with my matte clear coat you guys can see I have my um, plastic wrap like underneath the lid. I do that a lot. <laughs> it just, <laughs> I do all these weird things. I'm sure you guys do this stuff too, right? Like I can't be the only person that has all these like weird little things they do for their business, but I almost always put saran wrap under the lid and then close it. I don't know. I don't even know why I do it. I just feel like it keeps it fresher. <laughs> so I'm gonna be doing the dab into the clear coat with a sponge. Usually I use a foam roller, the same whiz high density foam roller, but I had these from the former video that I did where I like compared a bunch of sponges and stuff. These are okay too. Um, I feel like the foam roller is better because it gives straighter lines or it's easier for me to keep the lines straight. And so, and it covers more ground faster, but these are great too. You know, I'll, I'll link them if you guys want to try these out, but I think the foam roller is better. <laughs> um, and I'm just going to wipe from one end to the other, whether I'm using a foam roller and dragging it or I'm using one of these. To be clear, when I use a foam roller to apply clear coat, I don't roll the foam roller. I drag it or swipe it. I like hold it and then anyway you'll have to watch some of my other videos i'm sure you guys have <laughs> if you're watching this video you're probably subscribed and you guys know the drill one thing i will say is that a lot of people will clear coat their piece and my husband was notorious for doing this when we were doing the business together <laughs> he would clear coat the piece and then like go inside to get a drink or whatever and I would like run outside immediately and go and dab any drips and like clear coat little like stuff like that you know that gets in the corners or gets on the edges you can use a brush to clean this up as well a nice small brush works great like an artist brush but yeah you don't want to walk away from your piece after you clear coat it wait a second wait for some of those drips to happen because if you let your piece drip like that, it's gonna dry and get hard and whole thing. All right, I'm using, <laughs> to do the hardware, I did snip off like the bulky part of the hardware and I have videos where I do that. Um, but I also spray painted this hardware, the original hardware that came with the piece, but then I put it on top of the hood of my car to dry on a paper plate and I drove off. <laughs> and that hardware is long gone but luckily I am a hoarder and I'm sure you guys are too and you keep all your stuff and so I had the exact same hardware <laughs> so I was out of spray paint and I used general finishes milk paint in lamp black and then some matte polyacrylic and the piece turned out great 
This piece, I painted right over all the manufactured like dings that they put in. You'll see on some furniture, they put like all these dings and stuff. I painted right over top of those. The designer loved it. Her client's super happy. She pays well. I'm happy. Everybody's happy. See you guys in the next video. Bye.